In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix this GPU driver version error message when you are trying to launch Call of Duty Vanguard. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and you do like this video, then be sure to click on that subscribe button because we will be doing lots more videos on how to resolve problems with games not working properly and also how you can increase the performance and FPS in games. So the reason you're getting this message pop up when trying to launch into Call of Duty Vanguard is because you have not got the latest graphics card driver installed for your graphics card. So to download and install the latest NVIDIA driver, first you need to close down this error message by clicking on no and then close in Vanguard. And you then need to click on the link that's in the description below. You will now end up on a page that looks like this. You need to search for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting device manager. You now need to expand display adapters and as you can see I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super and that's the graphics card I have selected here. As you can see 16 series which is the 16 part at the start of 1660 Super and then I'm using Windows 10 64 bit. If you're using Windows 11 then you need to select Windows 11 and you then want to ensure you've got game ready drivers selected and then select your language. We can now press search and you then need to go download. You then need to click on download again and then click on save file. So it's very important to ensure you do have the latest graphics card driver installed as it will help make the game run a lot better. Having the latest driver can improve the performance in Vanguard and it can also increase the FPS. Plus, it can also resolve some crashing problems that you might be experiencing with the game as well. Once the file has finished downloading, you now need to open up File Explorer and you then need to go to your Downloads folder and you now need to run the NVIDIA driver setup file by double clicking on it and you then need to press OK. You will now have two options to choose from. You can select NVIDIA graphics driver and this will install only the graphics driver or you can select the top option which will also install GeForce Experience. If you're not sure what GeForce Experience is, basically it allows you to capture your in-game gameplay and you can also take screenshots within games and basically it has loads of cool tools. You can also see your FPS and stuff like that. So it's really handy to have GeForce Experience installed alongside the driver or I personally find. It can also optimize your games to make them run a lot better as well. So once you're happy with your choice, you can click on agree and continue if you do agree to the license agreement as well. I'm going to keep graphics driver and GeForce experience selected. You will now have two different installation options. You can either do an express install or a custom. If you select custom and press next, you can do a clean installation if you want and this will restore all the NVIDIA settings to their default value and removes any profiles you have created. So if you are having issues with your NVIDIA driver then this would be a good option for you but otherwise the express installation is absolutely fine. So go ahead and select express and then press next and the driver will now begin to install. And there you go. You have now successfully installed the latest NVIDIA graphics driver to your Windows computer. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. All you need to do now is just decide if you want to create a desktop shortcut for GeForce Experience and launch GeForce Experience and then press close. So when you launch Vanguard, you will no longer get the message pop up saying that you need to install the latest graphics driver. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.